Hello everyone and thank you so much for joining us for another episode of The Coolest Coast. My name is Jason and today on The Coolest Coast we're going to explore the historic Manitowoc County Courthouse. You're watching The Coolest Coast. I'm Jamie Olick. I am the former Mantua County Clerk and current Keel City Administrator. And welcome to the awesome Manitowoc County Courthouse. It's on the National Register of Historic Places and this is actually the third Manitowoc County Courthouse. There was one over uh, in Manitowoc Rapids uh, that was built in the early 1850s. And then uh, when Manitowoc, the city, was growing, they decided to relocate into the city. So they bought up a, a, a block in this, in this location at 1010 South 8th Street. And as you'll note, 1010 South 8th Street, the main entrance is on 8th Street. It's not on Washington Street like a lot of people think. So anyway, uh, they built a second courthouse at this location in the uh, 1860s. And then it just got too small. So what they ended up doing was putting that building up on rollers. A company from Chicago was contracted to do that. And then they put the entire building up on rollers, rolled it over to where the county jail is now, and built this gorgeous, beautiful building. Uh, and the construction years were from 1905 to 1907. So, Manitowoc County Courthouse is a Beaux-Arts neoclassical renaissance style architecture building. Oh, that was a mouthful, wasn't it? Beaux-Arts, that is an art academy in France that influenced a lot of architecture in the upper Midwest and the nation from about 1890 to right around the Great Depression, 1929. And what it does is it really brings into account heavy Greek and Roman architecture. That's what Beaux-Arts is all about. So Beaux-Arts neoclassical, bringing the Greek and Roman style architecture into modernity, Renaissance style architecture. So Beaux-Arts neoclassical Renaissance style architecture. That's the Manitowoc County Courthouse. Now, the guy who designed this building, his name is Christian Teigen. You can't be more Manitowoc County than this guy. He was born in Germany, trained at a Polytechnic Institute in Beaux-Arts, and then designed buildings like the Manitowoc County Courthouse, the original Holy Family Hospital, McKinley Academy up on the north side of town. Again, the object of these types of buildings is to basically take something like the Parthenon and then make it into an office building, something functional in the modern age. So that's what this guy was doing and he was well known around the Midwest. There's actually a sister county courthouse, which looks a lot like this one, built right after the Manitowoc County Courthouse in Oneida County, up in the northern part of the state, which is where Rhinelander is located today. That county courthouse still has its glass dome, and this one does not. It was knocked out by a major wind and hailstorm in May of 1950. The people at the time, we didn't have hard plastics or things like that to replace those panels with, uh, those glass panels, so stainless steel is what they chose to replace that uh, ornamental glass. And because they did that, there are consequences when you change the architecture, aren't there? It dimmed the light in the main part of the courthouse. And you'll see that by the staircase when you go look. It's actually kind of dark in the Manitowoc County Courthouse. If you go up to Rhinelander and Oneida, it's nicely lit from the exterior inside. But here it's a little dark when you go out in the main, uh, main corridor. So anyway, what's the cost of the Manitowoc County Courthouse? $238,000 in 1907 dollars. What do you think that equates to? Well, you do a little inflation calculation and that is about six and a half million dollars today. So, wow, six and a half million dollars for this heavily constructed tank of a building that we have here in Manitowoc County. So, what, what does it have in it? A uh, vault 
in every single corner is one of the neat little interior features of a courthouse. Why do they have vaults? Now what's interesting is Manitowoc County learned a very tough lesson with that first county courthouse. There was an inmate who was adjudicated insane. And one of the things he did was when he tried to bust out of the first county courthouse is the sheriff, it was a little, little breezy, it was fall, it was cold, he made a fire and left a poker in the fire. So what did that guy do? He reached out the iron bars, grabbed the poker, put it on the interior of his cell, which is wood, of course, it's, it's 1850s, and started the whole thing on fire. So the jail started on fire, which was attached to the courthouse, and that started on fire. So what they did is they took those hard lessons of that first fire and made sure to put vaults in each corner to protect our, our important county history. And I'll tell you what, the clerk of court at the time, so the person who staffs next to the judge and takes the notes and things like that, they were astute enough to grab all the old historical records and save them. There's actually a poll list from 1838 down in the vault of this very office that I'm standing in. This building has a lot of history in it. And um, uh, along with that, let's go back to Mr. Christian Teigen. So German born, German trained, immigrated to Manitowoc, well known uh, in the upper Midwest. And he was contracted to build this building. So again, it costs $238,000, $6.5 million today, which by the way, people then just like now, didn't like paying taxes. Oh, that's a pretty, that is the second most expensive county courthouse at the time it was built. So what ended up happening was people voted with their pocketbooks and they threw out a bunch of county board members after the courthouse was built. And so you'll see on the exterior of the building, people were so mad about the cost that the next county board, the new one that, that basically overtook the old one that approved the funding for this building, you'll see little chisel marks on the cornerstone where the, they actually chiseled off the contractor of the courthouse and the public works board that approved the funding. And it's just a blank tablet on the corner of the building. People were so mad about the cost. So on the interior of the building, there are four murals up in the dome area, and each of them is a representation of Manitowoc County at the turn of the century. Uh, there's one of industry, one of law, one of the medical field, and then one of agriculture. A couple of other really cool things that are incorporated into the structure of the courthouse are two things. Um, one, when we look at the interior space of the courthouse, you'll see three different eras of Greek architecture. On the ground floor, you'll see Dorian architecture. On the second floor, you'll see Ionian architecture. And then on the very third floor, right at the top, you'll see Corinthian style architecture. So he was integrating different periods of Greek architectural styles into the building itself. And then as we look outside at the building, you'll see on the exterior, three different styles of windowsills as well. And it's just these neat little features throughout the building that just make it so unique and so neat. Thank you so much for joining us on this episode of The Coolest Coast, and a special thanks to Jamie Owley. Support for this episode of The Coolest Coast comes from Amy Townsend of Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, Stark Real Estate. What's up, man? I am talking to myself. Yep, this is how it's done. <laughs>